Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to attempt to make a peacock's feather. <laughs> now you may or may not have um, been watching some of my previous videos but and in those videos there's been this bit of a pattern that if I try and make something look like something it looks hideous. So it's a pattern I'm looking to break. I'm mainly going to be using the Deco Art Metallics range. Berry, Peacock Pearl, Ice Blue, Crystal Green and Purple Pearl. Um, and mixing those in with Reeves Silver Acrylic maybe. Um, Reeves Copper. But there it is. Raves copper. And uh, probably some phthalo blue. This one is A2. Chroma A2. Um, and I'm not putting any silicon in any of this. This is going to be purely a attempt to create a picture that I have in my head uh, <laughs> and what would it take for it to turn out greater than I ever imagined so first step um, is to get our base color in and I'm using this spring Internal interior exterior paint from Bunnings here in New Zealand. Um, all my paints, by the way, are mixed with Floetrol and water. And um, what else? Is, what else? What else? What else do you guys require? What information do you desire? Um, ooh, I've got some lumps in this. That's not cool. I'm going to have to get those out. So what I'm doing here is just covering the entire canvas with the white. That way the whole thing looks painted when it's finished. There's bound to be areas, um, what we call negative space areas. And the, the cool thing about negative space is it makes the object stand out whatever it is that you're painting um, so that's that's what I'm doing here just getting the paint to pour reasonably evenly all over the canvas hopefully <laughs> that's the target anyway And we need to get out these big dollops that are caused by caked on bits on the side of the paint pot. Some of the other YouTubers have problems with their paints having um, bits in them from their... Um, the flow troll but I tend not to have that problem because I've got created this ingenious little method um, and that is you put a bit of um, what's that word stockings like tights stockings whatever you want to call it in your country um, over the mouth of your flow troll bottle and that catches any lumps and bumps and that's creates ease with that right let's get make sure that's back into your viewing area the canvas is this time 
because it's so big. I don't even know what it is. What size is it? Uh, 16 by 20, 16 inch by 20 inch. Um, because it's so big, it's the camera is a lot higher up than normal, so hoping that the, the sound is still okay. Just washing my hands, get all that white off before I get started. I do have gloves on, but it helps to start with clean hands. And it's a waste of gloves to take, take them off and put a new set on. So, what I've been thinking about, you know, thinking stinking, but um, the way I'm looking to do this one is partly a mallet smash and partly dragging and partly pouring and just got all sorts of ideas about how this is going to look so let's get started um, so on a peacock's feather it's kind of like a, a brown brownie black but it's got glistenings of colors through it so what I thought I would do is um, huh. I don't know thinking stinking let's see what happens eh guys so as I said I've got mixed up all those different metallics and that hopefully is what is going to create the um, the outcome my awareness is that one is raw umber um, I've mixed the green really really running what's this so who knows what that's going to end up with the where did all my colors go uh, I've got here some of the purple pearl and where is it the copper I think this one's actually got some um, silicon yep watching that go yes that's got silicon in it and just to tip it back towards the dark and this has got silicon in it too we've got some um, Plains grey. So, in this cup, and it's only a little shot glass cup. Ah! Yeah! Got it. Not too much spilt. It's all good. Copper on the floor. How's it getting any better? Um, what this cup is going to create is the the bits that fluff out all over <laughs> oh I hope you guys are an allowance of me being a bit weird because that's what I am so my target is to have the head of it there and then coming down here so I'm gonna see if I can do a so I've got a dirty pour well dip it, dirty flip cup and then What I'm going to do now is just take a little bit of that and eek, the paint's grey has gone purple. Oh no, I put, I put purple in there. It's okay. Ah, uh, cells. That was not the plan. Alright, way too much paint. 
How's it get any better than this? Okay. <laughs> this is where we get messy, guys. And I probably should have some form of protective shield up. There we go. So it doesn't block out the light. I've got a piece of clear plastic here so that we don't... Too much vibration going on far too much mixing going on what's right about this I'm not getting that's okay too much paint let's see what we can go here This is not how I envisaged it at all. Oh my goodness me, I am making an utter, utter mess today. So, let's see what we can do here. What can we create? What can we change? Sorry, my head's in the way. My apologies. My entire studio is falling down around my ears. How's it get any better than that? Now, the chaotic thing about peacock's feathers is although it looks like it's all going in a certain way, they do, they are just individual strands. So they bend in odd ways and they go all over the place and... Now, you're all going, yeah, but it's got an eye in the middle. I know, I know, I haven't finished. I remember seeing um, what's her name Anne Osborne using a one of these to remove excess paint so no my hands wet ah it's dripping water What's going on today? I seem to be in this weird manic space. Oh, look at that. I've just made a big mess, guys. What's right about this I'm not getting? No, that's not working. So 
So the next thing that you use is you use a sponge. And you make a patch, just like that. All right. Starting to look good. I'm liking it. I know that's weird, but it's looking good. I like it. All right, so the next thing is uh, another little cup. And when, you, when you're putting things in cups, you're about to pour it out. So whatever's on the top, comes out first and whatever's on the bottom comes out last so you've got to look at that when you are creating and I would like um, phthalo blue to come out last so I need that to go in first I'm just realizing that that's The joys of using a giant canvas. So I'm going to put a layer of phthalo blue on the bottom. Phthalo blue is a beautiful, dark, but also a transparent colour, which is very cool. Um, then the next colour that I'm going to layer on top ish is this peacock blue, peacock pearl it's called. And then um, I'm going to do some more copper. Come on, copper edge, come. You know you want to. Oh, I've got so little of this left. Um, what can I use to scrape that out? What's right about that? I'm not sure. And then I have mixed up this other weird concoction. I don't have any gold and I was trying to make gold. Um, pretty much what this is, is a mixture of um, Reeves medium yellow. So it's quite a bright shiny yellow. And my finger's about to drip on the canvas. Um, and silver. And then, what else did I put in there? I put a little bit of copper in there too. Now, what I'm going to do first is make a little puddle in the middle 
Now, some of you that have done some acrylic pour know what happens when you put a puddle to start with. Yep, I'm doing a spiral pour. Weird, eh? So, Where's my dark blue? I need my dark blue. Come on, Thalo. Where are you? Nope, it's not coming out. So we need to put... I require a dark blue in the centre bit because that, to me, is what is... There we go. Spread that out, get some rings happening. Try not to mess up the rest of it too much. Spread that eye out that way mm. I should not have put the black into this okay so I'm really liking that copper want more. More copper! Normally you hear me calling more gold, but I don't have any gold. So, more copper! And the cool thing is this copper is catching some of the oil. I can hear you. I know I've got gaps. Gaps in my paint. It's all good. It will come out in the wash. Don't worry. Nearly done on this pot. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Not quite loving it yet. Let's just fill in some of those spots with some of this huge amount of white that is underneath.
all right the other color that's really not prominent in there that i think of when i think of um peacocks is the green and that's probably because it was so runny it just disappeared in amongst that gray mess so i'm going to um I'm actually going to put it somewhere else so I don't mess up the big container. Just adding more color, more interest, more strange, random, feathery like bits. Hopefully more oily goodness. <laughs> Trying to keep the green on the top, not sinking down because it is so thin. I did a mistake with my mixing and I didn't have more paint to thicken it back up with. So. Does it get any better? Um, realized that I've kind of forgotten about this bottom corner I've come up from that center stem but not including the sides in it There's a lot of air bubbles on that bit there. Um, now, one more color that I would like to include in there is this berry. And it's um it's so royally regal it really does make me think of peacocks. Peacocks are so regal, such regal creatures. Um, what do you think of when you think of peacocks? I 
And just think, all of this beauty that is nature has created is just to turn the woman on. Woohoo! <laughs> they do it all for us, ladies. How does it get any better than that? You know what? I used to think that it was... Oh, I used to think it was like really bad and terrible and awful and wrong of um, nature to do something like have it just be the men birds that got to have all this beauty. And then um, somebody pointed out to me, well, why do they get to have that? It's so that they can attract the women and um, I was like oh yeah it's all because of us so we started out with a bit of a grey mess and now we are getting this multi-coloured multi-streaming yumminess that's oh. pretty thank you my son, my youngest son, who you may have seen <laughs> in previous videos helping me paint, um, has just come down to see what I'm doing. What is it, Damo? Um, I'm, I've what been what am I? What am I painting? What did you come to talk to me about? Because that's not relevant to the viewers. Um. <laughs> It looks like a peacock feather to me. Yay! How does it get any better? People can tell what it is. <laughs> Yay! Um, it's a lot grayer than what I imagine a peacock feather to look like. I, yeah, I, yeah. I always see it more green. More green. You think I should put more green under you? Hmm. Okay. Oh, and something funny that happened at school like two years ago. Uh-huh. Um, one of the boys in my class didn't really like Mrs. Bocock, so what they did for the end of the year is they gave her peacock feathers, mm -hmm. and some people say that if you give someone peacock feathers, then they're really unlucky, and they become really unlucky. Yeah. And, and she was like, thanks. <laughs> so that, what is that? That's a superstition, that's significance, it's... Judgment, it's all sorts of crap. That it's just a them. story. It is just a story. A past story. Yeah, but if you buy into the story that um, that it causes bad luck, then you will create the bad luck, won't you? Yeah. Instead of going, oh, these are beautiful, thank you, and uh, <laughs> out creating their judgments, out creating their projections about Ooh. what that would create. Real touch. This looks like a nice color. Yeah, it mm. does. All right, guys, I'm just going to let that run off the end there just a little bit and leave it at that but I am going to put the torch over it real quickly what can I do it? sure where's the torch? So it's it's a bit more fierce than last time you used it, so keep it well away. Yeah. Oh, I can see bubbles. I can see bubbles popping. Thank you, Damo. You're welcome. Bye, viewers. 
world amazing. How does it get any better than that? I love my sons. They're amazing. So, let me know in the comments. What do you think? What would you have done different? And I am super looking forward to looking at what this comes out as once it has dried. Um, and I will put dried photos up on my Facebook page. Um, yeah. So, check out my Facebook page, Mickey Art um, one so if you go to Facebook and type in at M-C-E-A-R-T-1, you will find me with ease. Um, and what would it take for these bobbly bits here to flatten out and look totally cool? Have fun. I am super grateful for you joining me. And I am going to have some fun myself. See ya. Bye. Oh. Whoops. Now. <laughs> Alright, so let's have a look at this from a distance. And, um... I'll show you some of the uh, cell action that came up. Um, there is definitely some cells in here. Nothing too particularly flash, more like lacing really, where the where I've dragged it out, but it just gives some really cool texture. And then when we come into the centre bit, that's where the other interesting parts are. We've got some couple of interesting little cells in there. There's so much metallic in this. I'm quite excited about what it will end up like. So, there we go guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And... What else is possible? What else can we play with? What else can we create? And what else are you willing to try even if you think it's not possible? I am. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I had fun with my hair last week. Gave myself a haircut on video. Um, so if you want to check that out, go over to my other channel, Access UTV. Um, and yeah. What have you decided you can't do that you actually can? Thanks for joining me. Have fun and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.